Greetings dear teachers. Let me introduce you to the perfect digital replacement for the classroom blackboard, the census easy board software which is developed in India according to the requirement of Indian teachers. The software comes with scroll wheel loaded with options pinpointing to meet classroom needs. Yes, you heard it right. It is not an add-on feature like the Jamboard or the whiteboard. This is a dedicated software for teaching or teachers. First of all, let me greet my students with a hello message. I can do this with my bare fingers. I can also rub this with my bare hands. It is that simple. First of all, let me write today's topic, Backwaters. Now that looks a bit messy, so let me tidy that up with the text recognition tool. Let me select that and the software just turns it into a printed text. Let me just reposition that and resize it a bit to a convenient position. Now that looks neat. Now let me google for more information. Let me add a picture to this. Okay, this shows the backwaters of Kerala. Now I have a beautiful picture in my slide. Now let me add a PPT to my presentation. I have an existing PPT with more information on the topic. Let me put it to 75% scaling so that I have space to write. Let me scroll through the pages. Let me mark on this PPT. I can even highlight with different colors. But the way I like to add image is straight from Google Maps satellite view. Let's add an image from Kerala and its backwaters. Let's search Vembanad. Now let's try a bit of the panoramic view. You can see in all directions and enjoy the full view of the image. Coming back to the maps, let's snip a piece of this map. to the EC board application. Backwaters have a great significance in the life of a Keralite. Let's insert a video showing just that. The video shows backwaters, the culture of Kerala and life in Kerala. Now I can pause the video and draw on the image, annotating ornaments and the cultural symbols. These backwaters are abundant in water thanks to Kerala's abundant monsoon. Let me now add a GIF image showing just that. Now you can see the animation of the clouds moving. Kerala's poets have always praised rain in their poems. Let me now insert a poem, a Malayalam poem to my presentation. All these things have made Kerala a very popular tourist destination. If you ask me how popular it is, let me show you just that with Google Trends. Well this tool helps me understand society's trending topics based on people's search results and no survey is needed for this. Let me first enter a topic Kerala backwaters and so see how popular it is. This graph shows me how popular a topic is with respect to time. I can also download this data to an Excel file and further manipulate it in Excel. I can now select these data and create a graph. This tool is really useful for market study as I can find society's demand 
with this tool. I can also compare topics like Moonar with Mysuru. You can see that Moonar is way popular than Mysuru. Now let me add Agra to it. How Agra is way popular than Moonar and Mysore. Something that makes Moonar really popular are its tea plantations. Let's define the word tea. And look into the history of tea. Now, here we have the origin of the word tea from Chinese and from the Mandarin language to English. Let's now take a screenshot of this to EC board application. Let me now look into the history of tea and the way it came into India. From an online library, let's get a free online book and let's type in tea war. Let's download the PDF of the book. Now let me open my downloaded PDF. The book talks about tea brought to India under the colonials and the resulting trade wars. Now I can read the book and also mark on it. And I can also take a screenshot of the image. Now I can take a screenshot of the important portions. Talking about trade wars, there is a trade war currently going on between China and other nations like US. Let's understand people's emotion and sentiments on this topic by analyzing thousands of tweets. These are the tweets with the hashtag trade war and let's look into the detailed statistics. The AI software has classified the tweets and its emotions. Now, it seems that 17% of the people are positive about the topic, 12% are negative and majority 71% of people are neutral on the topic. So people are being diplomatic on this topic. Well, call me biased, but I hope this economic war turns out good for India's GDP, which is steadily climbing. That is, in 2010, it was 1.68 lakh crores USD and in 2018 it is 2.72 lakh crores USD. That's not all. Let's take a look at some science tools that might come in handy. First of all, chemistry. This software lets you generate 3D structure of molecules. and you can manipulate the molecule with your bare hands. You can also see the different views of the molecule. Let's look into a tube formation, also a wire formation. And biology, where you can look into the 3D simulation of a human brain and its different parts, really. And also physics, where you can vary the rheostat in real time. With all these tools, your imagination is truly the limit. This is Koshi Alex from Resolute Enterprises. Resolute Enterprises providing complete classroom solutions all over South India for the past six years. For any further queries or doubts, feel free to contact us in these numbers. Thank you.